Bon appetit. And something is moving around there. Okay, go search. Now we can say that uh, she's really here. By saying she, I mean a winter. And it is cold here. We have almost negative degrees Celsius here. We are around two degrees Celsius. And uh, when you compare it to the last time, something is different here. And that would be, of course, he's back. Crazy doggo is back, so. Welcome back to Survival Land. Sorry, I have such issues with the new cam. Oh, you should see me well. We're back in this forest and today we expect some heavy rain here, which is not weird for this time of year finally. And the crazy doggo is uh, back on his track. Let me show you here. I'm going to show you him in a second here in details. But uh, today we're going to do some uh, tent camping here. We have some interesting food to test out. And uh, make sure you stay tuned and I'm going to talk a bit later about all the details. But right now we have to be quick, it's so that I first place my backpack on a tree. Then I took this poncho here because it's going to hit us any second here. If not, we're very lucky. Now let me show you the doggo for a second. As you can see, nothing has changed. He's still destroying shit all around here. So he's pretty much the same come here. Now let me show you here uh, what... Hey, mouse! <laughs> Uh, let me try to show you here. Uh, And uh, all right, and we have this one spider like. Why spider like? I'm gonna show you in a second. If you watch my last vid, one of my last vids, uh, you can see this tent already. If you didn't, 
that means you're not subscribed yet. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Now we can continue. And uh, we use it in fairly nice weather. I mean, it was some rain, but nothing special there. But uh, I'm gonna try it out in the heavy rain tonight to see if it holds. And uh, we didn't took the inner tent for the reason of the extra weight, of course. But I can see. Uh, but what I want to. But what I want to. But what I want to see is uh, how this is gonna work as a just simple, I don't know, shelter, because this is just lightweight. That tarp is lightweight, is water resistant, pretty good, we tested out already. And uh, we're gonna see today if this works. Well, it should. Now, you can see why I said spider-like. Well, if I remember correctly, uh, the spider legs should go into the hole, so I'm not sure if they are just long enough to get the deepness inside. But anyway, I think it's gonna work, actually. So, if we do this, and this, I think that should be fine. So let's try it out. Hole here. Next one here. And these should go right about there like that. Well, to be honest, I'm pretty satisfied with it. I mean, not with the spider, but how it looks like. And uh, this system is very good. Nice work, White Tigers. Well, you need to move for a second, so we go. is Doggo has to try it out. Seems to be good. Seems to be good. Light shelter. High five. High five. High five. High five. Oh. Well if I'm correct here I should have one more. There you go. Ten peg. And that one should be for that from behind. Let me show you here. Let me take you off of this. Just a second. So, dog was inside, having a great time. And uh, here it is, all around. Now we have doors here, which is pretty good, pretty unique. And we're gonna close it just to have, you know, extra security from the back regarding the wind. And uh, that's pretty much it. This is very simple now. Question is, about the rain. When the rain comes, it will be just fine and just enough. To hold on. Well, it was last time, but it was, you can see, it was squished into my backpack, but I think it's gonna work just fine.
we have some light rain out there going on. And we're gonna wait for it to pass away because it seems to be just cloud here and the real rain should come in maybe an hour and a half. And then we're gonna have some serious issues here and serious worries about our shelter here. Right, Dogo? Well, Dogo pretty much don't care. He has his uh, sleeping bag here, which is pretty warm and pretty good for him. And one interesting thing is, today is his birthday. The 7th. Happy birthday, Dogo. Let me give you a call. Shop. Happy birthday. You have a cake? Did you make a cake? Of course not, but I have something for him special today. We're gonna have some nice meal later. Uh, hopefully, uh, this bulge of his ribs is gonna be fine. And for all of you who wanna help, there is Patreon, and you only for one dollar, you're gonna have all the info about the doggo and his personal life. Personal life? You have personal life? Well, I guess so. And if you want to help the treatment, there is a link to the merch if you buy some shirts or something on the doggo. Uh, you're gonna have a lot here and uh, it's gonna cover all the costs for the dog over here. Uh, of course, we're gonna make... Hmm, let's make this discount code. What's gonna be? It's gonna be a birthday. That's a discount for 10% off. We're gonna wait the rain to fall. Let's talk about gear for a second. Uh, that would be the snackpack sleeping bag. You might notice that I had uh, somewhere from, I think, October from last year, uh, 2021. And it showed to be pretty good. And I even burned a few spots. And uh, even with that, it was pretty good on the snow and everywhere. And right now, uh, I should get a uh, snackpack. This is a uh, I think this is Elite 3, I should get Elite 5, so it should be even better for the winter, so we are looking forward to get that one. But so far, if we're looking for an affordable sleeping bag, which is good, and which is not from the goose down, as you know the goose down is a problem in the rain and in a wet area, because you're gonna get soaked and trust me, you're never gonna get dry again. So for that matter, these are much better. Well, they are a bit heavier than the goose down ones, but uh... This is the way to go for me here. So, we're gonna use it again today here. And if you notice, I use uh, most of the time, I use some of that, I use the same stuff. Why is that? Because that stuff works from here for sure. What I change? Tents. Tents we're gonna test out in the rain. If you wanna see this one in a, I mean in the snow, you wanna see this one in the snow, how it works, make sure you let me know about that one. And we're gonna do it there, so make sure you go down there in the comment section, say my dog happy birthday, and with that, comment maybe what did you want to see with this or some other tents. <laughs> Alright, so rain stopped here for a second. And we even have some, I uh, would say, sunlight. Well, uh, I can tell you what, in case of some heavy, heavy wind, this should be completely fine. And this is very, very cool. Of course, you can get this inner tent. That will make you feel, I guess, safer, something like that. But uh, this is just pretty awesome, okay? This design is something I haven't seen for a while. And it works pretty good. We're going to see tonight. But we should be more than fine. I'm a... Uh, Though he's kind of sleepy, that's probably because of all of that meds. And uh, what we have to do right now, we have to check for some food around here. And we're gonna light a fire. Uh, we have some 3D. I don't know if it's 3D, I actually hate that food. We're gonna talk about that later. But I thought that would be interesting for you to watch. 
um, we're gonna see that. I'm gonna use these spots from the rain to get some more clothing on myself because over here it is barely cold. I mean, it is winter around here. So we're gonna take this here and we're gonna have this fleece on. Oh man, that is much, much better. Ooh. Right now I'm gonna show you what I have to eat here. Then I'm gonna light the fire and uh, snag inside the leader shelter here. What do you think Dogo? Give me a hug, hug, hug. Good boy. All right, regarding food, this is a surprise for today. We have some, let me show you here up close. We have some snails and uh, trust me, I don't have any special reason why I bought this. Usually I hate them, but I saw there's some spice inside and some good stuff. So I guess this can't be so bad, right? When I was a kid, uh, my father used to have these, I mean, not all the time, and this time of a year, when you have all of these rains and everything, and we would just escape from home because that smell is just disgusting around there. But we're gonna have them on the coals directly, actually in this nice aluminum pan or what it is. And uh, with that being said, we have here some noodles that we're gonna save for tomorrow. Yeah, we have some coffee here and I have one can of crazy dough. I have one can of some meatballs and those balls should be just good for me. I mean meatballs is gonna be just good for me for around here till tomorrow morning. All right, we're just gonna wait for this to pass. And uh, I don't know if you can see this, but there is some water in the entrance here. That's because this part here is open, okay? And, uh, but that's not a problem. We're just gonna go uh, deeper inside and we're gonna sleep just near this exit here or entrance, for the, whatever you want to be here. And there's just enough space. It's really space inside here. You can see that this Mido has full space on. And, uh, I'm gonna be just fine. Uh, this is very, very cool, okay? I uh, haven't slept for a while in a system like this, and I can say that I like it pretty much. And I like this kind of, uh, you know, construction to be some kind of shelter. Even thinking of designing something uh, myself, if you agree with that one, comment section, let me know what you think about it. Maybe our, just our, I don't know, personal line of shelters for the rain. I think that would be pretty cool, right? Well, what you might notice here is difference in picture quality. Where's Fred is? My cam is over there charging up. I have some issues with the batteries or with the contact inside of a camera. Well, hopefully it's just the battery because uh, I burned three batteries, which is pretty weird. Usually I take just two of them. They all say the same, change the battery back. So hopefully, you just have to that one. So over here we're gonna light a fire. Let me show you here. I'm filming with my phone, but it shouldn't be so bad quality of the picture. And I have to be pretty quick around here to uh, pick up some nice firewood and tinder. Hopefully this rain clouds will leave us to do that because uh, everything here is just soaked, but it's still fine. Uh, but it won't be fine in case of heavy rain. And it's just a question of moment when it's gonna start here. So let's pick up some dry firewood here. Let's light a fire. Right, so hopefully you can see it pretty good here. 
And uh, I found some of this firewood from the last time, which I saved, kind of saved. I moved away because I didn't need it back at the time. And you saw at the beginning, uh, you saw that cordage which was on a tree. And this is a huge forest, so that way I mark my spots where I can camp here. Because I don't like to go around on, a, I don't know, 15 different places here to camp out. Because that way I'm going to destroy this moss and everything, just walking on it and everything. So it's a better way to be on the same spots pretty much every time when I come here, okay? It's gonna be different, of course, in the snow time. It's gonna be very interesting. Everything here is gonna look completely different than now. Uh, I was saying, uh, we have this firewood, which is, by the way, soaked from the rain, you can see this. But hopefully inside here, I'm gonna use the charcoal knife, which is pretty good for batana here. Um, uh, we're gonna try to extract this dry part here. And this is dry, you're gonna see in a second. So we're gonna make some feather sticks, plus we're gonna baton these two small pieces to see is there any uh, dry area inside of this small logs here. Well, this charcoal blade is pretty, pretty awesome. I don't know if it's focused. Well, it is an M390 steel and it is Avalon's handle, which is, these scales are 3000 plus years old. So if you want to get one, there are not many of these. I have number 228 and they are, I think, 400 in the world at this time right now. So if you want to get one, make sure you mail me and we're going to figure something out because I know manufacturer. All right, so let's see if this is gonna work. I have my fire still here, and we're gonna put these snails here. Want some snails? Not good. Doggo not too happy about it, so and he would eat a crap out of my food, right? Time to get a fire going here. Now, uh, I'm gonna use this time as much as I can because one moment there is some rain, then no rain, and it's gonna give us some trouble in the future. So uh, we're gonna take this moment to do that. We have these smaller pieces, we have these bigger ones, and over here, so I use this spruce resin, and that should work pretty good. I'm gonna use my knife. And on a charcoal here, I noticed that the best way to get the fire sparks is from back here, so you can see this is just amazing. So, and by the way, it's pretty cold here. Let's see what we can do here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Removing the bark, this is gonna speed up the process here. And the spruce resin works very, very good. You can see by the smoke, it's kind of a black. That is because of this resin. 
and that's very good it burns very very good but still it's very very so here so this is gonna be a struggle Well, camera is back and the rain is back again. So we're gonna have to cover ourselves here. It gives me some struggle regarding keeping the fire going. Uh, hopefully that footage with my phone wasn't so bad. Here we go. It's very hard to keep this fire going so we're gonna start to cook these nails and hopefully we're gonna have some luck they're not gonna be raw or something like that I'm not gonna poison myself or throw up around here uh, but I think that's always gonna we're gonna succeed only in that one Dogo has his food over there uh, in case I'm too hungry I'm gonna have some well I'm joking of course but I think there's no dog owner over there that didn't try it out the dog food. I mean, it might sound weird to you guys who don't have dogs, but uh, there was always kind of interest in a dog food. Whatever. If you agree with me, dog owners, comment. Alright, so I got myself this toothpick that my father used to eat them with a toothpick and they're just very very deep inside there. Let me try to get one out. I don't know how they eat this, sorry guys from the France, I guess they eat them in France. But uh, give me a moment here. Maybe this one. All right. <laughs> well, I don't know if you can see. Let me just focus here. Come on, come on, come on. There we are. There we go. Well, let me put the out focus here mode. This does not look promising. It looks like, a, I don't know, third. <laughs> Oh, uh, even Dogo won't come here to even to sniff it. Well, good luck me. Bon appetit. Hmm. Well, actually, it's not that bad. It is, uh, Surely better than I expected to be. Let's try this one here. Here's another one. Oh man, but when you know that it is a snail, I mean, I don't want to underestimate any food, and I know that there are people in the world that uh, have lack of food, so we're gonna respect that one. But uh, respecting snail, I do respect. Well, on the law, it's actually not so bad. I don't have any fire. 
and I'm really tired and I have some food regarding this snacks so I'm gonna be fine for the night but uh, it's really a struggle to keep fire going and now you can see hopefully you can see it's really cold out here so and we don't have luxury to have so much food in this wet condition you can see that my tent is really really soaked and uh, right now we're gonna wait I mean it's 4.30 what I'm gonna do in 4.30 that's why I like this winter time I'm not very fan of it just because of the time I wish it was daylight till I don't know 6 or 7 because this is just man 4.30 and have to go to sleep well not gonna happen I'm gonna sit here and watch my fire dying I don't know if it's that romantic or something but uh, after it uh, I'm gonna stand inside and just enjoy the night here with my doggo I'm very glad that he's back again and I guess he's glad too because he really likes to jump and uh, just run around here he seems to be a new dog okay the last couple of days because of this bulge and it hurts him I can see that and uh, we still have to figure out what to do with it and I'm gonna brief you up guys on a patreon there and on Instagram so you can find my Instagram account down there and that's pretty much it ready to go to sleep doggo had some snails well, I'm ready to go to sleep, that's for sure. Snaily snaily. <laughs> Good boy. The dog is going crazy about something. And something is moving around there. Okay, go search. He's a good guard dog because he's gonna come back, he's not gonna go too far and then he's gonna come back. Well luckily enough we have a firearm here. Come here! Come here! Back! 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 I'm not yet in my sleeping bag because it is uh, still warm in my shelter here and uh, Kudogu is still just trying around, something is moving around, that's very annoying but I'm not scared, I have my life insurance, it is right here but uh, something seems to like snails around here <laughs> well, at least someone likes them but they're actually not so bad and here comes the rain again but uh, all in all the day was fine, I mean, we didn't do much work around here, I mean, we had some meal and everything. But it was very important for me to do go just to adapt again to the, to the nature and everything. You can see right now that it's more alert than usual because he hasn't been there for a while, his whole time back at home, so... Oh, well, this rain is very relaxing, that's what I can say, and it is very, very heavy at this second. Oh, I think I'm gonna go to sleep right now. I still have issues with my camp here, so I think I'm gonna finish this night with this. So nothing interesting will happen here. I'm just gonna stay in my sleeping bag. But that's pretty much it. So uh, yeah. in case this something that moves around here don't eat my legs or my dogo and he's <whistles> hopefully he's gonna come back because it's it raining out there. So. I'm gonna see you guys in the morning, so good night there. Morning, morning. Oh, dry as a sand. Well, that's the good news. Of course, uh, here 
Oh man, it's so cold out there, you wouldn't believe, even though we have some light already out, I can see the sun oh, in the canopies up there. Uh, what I wanted to say, I slept actually very, very good, okay? This soda sleeping mat is just perfect for me, okay? I like things to be hard around here. I mean, the sleeping system, sleeping mat and everything, even at home, my mattress, it's pretty, pretty hard, okay? I don't like soft stuff, <laughs> whatever. Uh, but I want to say, of course, there can't be any condensation inside here because we are in the open. But that rain last night, you can see that even there's some inside here and everything is really, really soaked out there. And... Uh, but all in all, it was very, very good. Dog is still sleeping though. I'm filming this with my phone because my camera over there is dead. I mean, battery is dead. And during the night, we had a friend here. Hello, Spidey Spidey. Good morning, Dogo. You had a good night? I guess so. He was already out there, you can see that he's all wet. Oh. This is from the inside. I guess these spider legs made spider to be around here. Oh, this was very good. But it's still too cold out there. I'm just here so warm that uh, it's really an issue to go out there before the sun comes up and hopefully it will come a bit higher and it's gonna become a bit warmer around here because I think we have maybe two or three degrees Celsius here, so it's pure winter, man. But I can't wait for the snow, though. <sighs> Dog was going out. Patrol time. You heard something? Well, like you can see, we have here a long job to do. And uh, this is pretty much all soaked from the outside. And uh, we're gonna have this sun very soon up there higher. And uh, I'm not in a rush, so I'm gonna wait for maybe an hour or two. Just to, oh my, first thing is breaking inside. Uh, to just dry out a little bit, because if I hate something, that would be putting my wet stuff or red gear into my backpack, then come home. And I'm in an apartment, I mean in a flat, so it's not actually too possible to, you know, to have it all out there in a backyard or something, because we don't have a backyard. So we're gonna wait for that one, and uh, that's gonna be, I think, end of the bit here. Let me show you here. You are in my phone. So this is my camera which is pretty much done, changed the battery pack. We burned three packs. Dog is still not ready to leave, wanna go home. And uh, you can see that this is just soaked from the last night's rainstorm. And uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, uh, thank you guys for watching. If you like the vid, if you want to help, buy some new battery packs. Go down there, check the merch out. You're gonna help with that one to heal the car of the crazy dog over here. And you're gonna support the channel that way a lot, okay? And thanks to all of my patrons. Thanks a lot. And uh, as always, I'm gonna see you very soon here. Wanna go home? He likes it here. Have a nice one.